All right, folks, no guts, no glory. A um, little bit of a breeze going. Um, you can see my flag. You can see the neighbor's flag. The palm trees are swaying a little bit. Stormy monsoon. I'm not gonna put the DJI up tonight. I'm gonna put the Raycon Q500 up um, with all of its modifications. And I'm looking at this screen, it's just gorgeous. So I think we're gonna leave the settings where they are. Um, filming in 4K so that when I clip video for, or pictures from the video, should be pretty good pictures. So I'm gonna start this up. And props are on. And this is a very docile, very docile bird to fly. It's not like the Mavic. It's not as fast. It's not quite, I don't think it's quite as stable. But, you know, it's, um, it's the one I had fixed for me by Frank Foray at, um, at Carolina Drones when I put it together and it just didn't work. I'd put it together with other people's parts. And uh, I think that was a definite mistake. You buy used parts from people, you get what you get, you know? Okay, gonna bring this camera on up. Um, well, I don't see a lot of colors yet. Um, we'll see, we'll, we're at um, altitude here. We're at 162. I want to go up to 200 feet like I was with the Mavic last night. Okay, I'm at 200. Picture's nice and level. And like I said, this Raycon conversion flies really well. Frank and his crew did a real good job of getting it right for me. I have flown it in windy conditions before and it, uh, the worst thing that can happen that I've had happen because I get caught in a little bit of a side breeze is it will knock me over and break a prop but that's on landing and it's no big deal and it hasn't ever really hurt anything except for the prop which props are cheap compared to a drone. So. We're okay. We're just going to come back down for a minute or two. Bring it back down. Land it on the sidewalk right like I always used to when I flew this before. It's just a good flyer. We'll come on down. Uh, you can see it getting knocked around a little bit. It definitely is gusty down here close to the ground. And this is when people get all nervous and, and crash. Because they hurry. And if you hurry... you don't land safely. And as you can see, it's landed safely. We're gonna turn it off for now. Okay, we're recording. That first flight was pretty uneventful. I'm, uh, so I'm gonna try one more battery. Get up and see if we can get some color. This is just disturbing as heck. Should have some color by now. Got 31 satellites. We're back to 12.2 volts. Full battery on the transmitter or damn close to it. Okay, we're going to start her up. Going to start the video. And we're in rabbit mode, angle mode, throttle up. Again, I'm going to go out a little ways and over a little ways. I want to get up to about 200 feet, right over the streets, perfect for me. In case something would happen, I don't have to worry about walking too very far. Okay, how high are we? We're almost up to 200. Okay, we're at 200. I'm going to go out a little ways from me. Still in the middle of the street, pretty much. I am recording. We've got the gimbal all the way up as far as the unique will let it go. 
Um, okay, we'll just do a very slow panorama. And it's cloudy, so I'm gonna change this. No, that's not what I wanted to do. It's cloudy. All right. All right, so now we'll see what it does. With that, I just changed that. That's the only thing I changed, white balance. And as you can see, we're starting to color up a little bit, but man, oh man, it's been up five and a half minutes. I haven't seen the change I'm really shooting for, but it's getting close. You can see Virga falling out of the sky in that big patch over here. And like I said, I got 31 satellites. I got 11.5 volts on the trans or on the drone battery and a pretty much full battery on the transmitter because I charged it up last night. So we're just gonna play around a little bit. I'd like to just leave it in the air now until I'm ready to land because I'd hate to get down and get back up and have it have a problem. I'd rather just do it right now while we're up in the air. So. You can see there's there's some color developing. Okay, that should be somewhere in the vicinity of Camelback Mountain, out in the distance there. Um, well, I don't know. I just don't know, folks, if we're going to get any kind of picture or not. It certainly seems like it's being awfully, awfully slow in developing color tonight. There is some lightning out in this direction. Just saw some flashes while I was pointed the wrong direction, of course. Well, we're at 11.3 on the on the drone battery. Um, nice thing is that this miserable heat we've been having isn't around right now it's uh, it's gone away with this front rolling through of course I missed another lightning flash the second I did my little rotation there um, shooting for some good pictures I hope but we you know we'll never know till we get them down and get them on the computer deplorable you just been a really good little drone with your made in Vietnam body and parts. Most people don't even know that. I don't think that Raycon is actually manufactured in Vietnam. Ha, there goes a bird by my drone. He, they like to chase it every once in a while. They get all crazy.